I'm so excited to be here with my buddy Graham. I got to spend time with him recently to learn more about production intelligence, and I thought it was so insightful that I had to share it with the world. Graham, production intelligence, everyone's using it. As you see right here, smart manufacturers use production intelligence, right? Amen, dude. I mean, listen, it's been a hit. I, I think the reception we got at this show, it was, you know, we, we knew we had a big hit when we came to market with this, but the reception of the show has been unhinged, to say the least. Unhinged? I, mean, I, I mean, like that word. Yeah, I mean, our booth almost got shut down. We had so many people in it, but I digress. It's been very exciting, and I'd like to say we've been validated that this vision is for real. Great way to build a foundation for what we're about to talk about, isn't it? Like, yeah, oh, when yeah. you almost get shut down for being too good. Yeah, I suppose so, but um, we're so sorry to the show for uh, having <laughs> such a strong booth there. But, you know, we want to give the people what they want, and it sounds like this is what they want, so, um, you know, we're really excited to tell you a bit more about it. Yeah, let's give these people what they want as well. We've already built it up. We may as well talk about it now. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, I would say that, you know, Getting excited about manufacturing technology feels crazy, but people literally point and stare at what we've delivered. Let's talk about it, all right? So how does our intelligent schedule work, okay? Well, Machine Metrics has made ERP integrations plug and play, all right? So we have clickable integrations with Epicor Kinetic, Infor Visual, and we can easily integrate any other ERP system. All right, now we've got work orders, operations, standard cycle times, out of the ERP into machine metrics. Now, when you start running machines on your factory floor, we know, right? Because we're connected to the CNC, so we know exactly what program is running on what machine. Our unique uh, proprietary technology scrapes that program header, and we look for that operation that's running on each machine that indicates uh, the SKU or the part that's being run, okay? Now, our system will automatically match that part or operation with the work order that it's associated with in real time. You don't have to do anything, okay? Now, we're tracking the status of those work orders and operations, not just whether or not our machine is running or not, and if we're making parts. And as you can see here, sort of like on the highway, right, you know, traffic slows down a little bit, right, when there's a crash ahead. When something happens on the factory floor, our system recalculates, and we have an estimated completion time that's driven by actual real-time data from the factory floor. Now, it's Tony, right? You got a crash on the highway, right? That doesn't just affect your car, right? It affects the ones behind you, right? Same thing when it comes to work orders, right? And all the people looking at the crash as well on the opposite side, right, if I'm right. being honest. Which makes know? a couple more crashes, right? <laughs> now, that is what it's like. It's a firefight in the factory floor when things right. fall behind, right? Excel spreadsheets, Kanban boards, fire hoses. We know the drill, right? Hundreds of customers told us that this was a problem that needed to be solved. You can kiss the Kanban board goodbye. You can kiss <laughs> that Excel spreadsheet that you're manually into data and goodbye. Right now, we know when operations are falling behind and we know the downstream impact of that. Now, instead of waiting for a card that you move from your Kanban board or putting an uh, something into Excel, all you have to do is reschedule that work in real time, all right? drag and drop allows you to take an operation and move it and plan it to another machine that can handle that work and boom we've now enhanced our capacity on all of our different machines we've made it easier for that work to get through the factory floor faster more efficiently it's all about getting the work to the customer right the number one thing that we're here to do is make stuff and deliver it to the people that ordered it right now by doing this we've made it, we've made scheduling intelligent, right? And that's how ERP data and machine data work together. Absolutely incredible, Graham. Is there anything else you'd like to close this out with? Because, because I could literally drop these mics right now, feeling that was a mic drop moment. Well, I got it if you need it. Not <laughs> <laughs> I actually did it. Yes, that's he how, did drop that's it. how profound. That's a nice catch, that's by the way. Thank God I caught it. Yeah, but it's got, now you got your it's own microphone. Mic. How do we want to close this out, Graham? I mean, this really is one of those things where you look at it and go, okay, my machines have been monitored for a long time. I understand what the past looks like, but now I'm scheduling and seeing the future. And the future <laughs> is how you change the game. That is absolutely right, Tony. I love that segue. It's almost like we set it up. Uh, you know, with, <laughs> with <laughs> so in the future, right? Q4, right? We're not just letting you drag and drop 
to different machines, we are have that historical part operations. We know which machines run different operations faster than others, right? So we will be suggesting to you which machine you should switch your operations to that gives you the fastest time to get it to the customer. Now that is next level intelligence. And no more guesswork. Oh, uh, no more guesswork. No. Next level intelligence. This is Machine Metrics. This is my brother, Graham. And if you want to know more, where can we find you? Oh, well, you know, the internet. There, as I say to my team, there is no IoT without IT, and IT is the internet. Uh, you can find us at www.machinemetrics.com, and uh, we hope to see you there. Absolutely. They made it real easy for us. I even could have guessed that one at that point, Graham. Thank you for your time. Appreciate you educating our audience, your now audience, on how machine monitoring can be moved into the future. Grateful to have you guys here.